Theater is working on a modern expansion, but this weekend you can step back in time to watch a movie the way they did when movie places like the Fox were the home of silent films. Nine on your side's Craig Smith is live at the Fox with more on how they will fill that silence. Craig? Well, they're going to fill that silence all right, and they're going to do it with the booming voice of the mighty, and we do mean mighty, Wurlitzer Pipe Organ. This was the soundtrack for movies before they had a soundtrack. When the movies were silent, grand theaters like the Fox turned to organs like the mighty Wurlitzer and organists like David Wickerham to add life to the story and the characters in it. Sometimes he feels the audience reaction and adjusts what he plays as he plays it. It's almost like it's the, the spirit of the room is sort of playing you. It's, it's, it's actually driving uh, where the music is headed. Wickerham was nine when he heard his first theater organ. They fascinated him ever since. He says there's maybe 300 theater organs left in the world and maybe a dozen artists like him who make a living bringing music out of an instrument with so many buttons, keys, and pedals. Just under 400 stops. I haven't had the exact count of them. Uh, that coupled with the, the, the keyboards, there's 61 notes per keyboard, there's 32 pedals for the bass, plus a whole bunch of other, so it's, it's, it's kind of like walking and chewing gum and, and a lot more. Sunday, he'll apply the power of the Wurlitzer to the 1925 silent film of Phantom of the Opera. Earlier that day, he'll play a Halloween concert. Monday, he'll play a concert for school children. Wickerham says it can be a real workout to play something so complex through a full-length movie. In a good kind of way. Uh, like any kind of live performance, theater organ performance, whether it's scoring or playing a concert, uh, general, gen it, it generates natural endorphins. And so uh, physically tired, but mentally wired. Now there's so much of that huge organ that you don't really see. A lot of the pipes are hidden and down under the organ, under the stage, there are, there are a couple of huge fans that give the organ all its lung power. But even if you can't see a lot of it, you can certainly feel it. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.